Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. Today I'm here for to try this new, for me, this new um, leaf color swatch from Wearing Gold. So I just want to try them and to show you how they work. I'm not 100% sure how they will work because I tried one already and I'll take I guess a couple out. I tried one and the result was not amazing. Let me show you why. Okay, first I usually make them on these Rhodia notepads like this and I put three ink, three um, drops of ink and then I go with the blade over it to spread the ink. I did this with, I only did this card with one drop, but even one drop was too much and some ink went down the, under this uh, laminated area. So it gets a little bit weird there. I, I tried the Pelican. Well, the focus is not going. What's happening with the focus? So I tried it with this Pelican Edelstein uh, Rose Quartz from... Sorry, let me take this out of the way so it doesn't focus the background. Even... Uh, sorry about this. So uh, I tried this, which was the 2023 ink from Pelican Edelstein and it was. this was the result. Not very not a great one because some ink went underneath. So I will try this with less ink. But let's try to make swatches of two inks and then we'll see how they work. So I, I'm, I think I will use this ginkgo leaf for mainly one color, which is green, this kind of dark green. And I think that's what I am going to try and see how it works. And so let me see, um, let's do it and let's see what we can get out of that. So first, maybe we will try these with, I have a couple of inks here. I have the Montblanc racing green, which is this one, and I think I will do it to be able to compare. I have also the crocodile green, which I didn't um, swatch yet for my collection, and the colorverse, this name, that I didn't swatch yet. So maybe I'll start with the Montblanc racing green, because I already have it here. So let's take this out. This is a used bottle, it's not full anymore. Let me bring a paper towel here. Let's open this and we will try this with, to avoid excess ink and let's see if that works. And I hope the focus will work. I don't know what's happening with this with my phone. I will try this with a... How is this called? With a brush instead of uh, with a knife to try to put less ink uh, on the paper. So let's take some ink out of here. I never did a swatch with a... this way. And maybe this, even this was too much ink. We'll see if it was or not. I have here some glasses of water just to clean it. Okay, the brush is clean. And now let me just maybe write here which is the ink. So far it didn't soak beneath the laminated layer, but I'm not sure if that will not happen. I think I need a drier brush even. Um, and so this is the discontinued. Montblanc 
racing green. One thing that I notice is that the these cards have not enough room for the lower part of the G letter, as you can see there. And there it is. It doesn't seem to be soaking beneath the area yet. So maybe that will work. There is a little bit that didn't cover up, which was this lower part. Okay. We will let it dry and see what will happen. Meanwhile, let's try this with some other ink. So this was the Mont Blanc Racing Green. It will be here next to the other thing. I'll put it away. Then I'll show you, but I'll just put it away to avoid uh, accidents. And now let's bring the... By the way, let me see. Can we take these little spots out or are they too oh yes i don't know if you can see there are little inky spots out and we can take them away with a little bit of the paper towel and now you'll see it's soaking in a little bit oops there but not too much okay let's go for another ink and we'll go for this Colorverse Tape Young Songdai. Songdai, sorry about my Korean pronunciation. Let's put this inside there. We have the ink here and we need another of those little swatch cards. I love the ginkgo tree, so it's for me, it makes lots of sense to, to have this kind of pattern. Let's open this little bottle for the first time. And let's... It looks a warmer tone. A little bit yellower or brownish. And let dry let's dry the, the brush and let's go over this like that yes it's a much lighter shade than the moon blanc and it's done let me clean this with water this is out of camera so you don't see it and now let's just write there and this is the color verse. I'm using a glass dip pen. Let me try to write this thing. Tae Pyong. Syong Dai. Okay. It's done. And now we can try to do the same thing that I did before. Let's just pick a little bit of paper towel and clean the laminated area. Oh, it gets nice. I think I'm liking this. Meanwhile, I don't know if I put too much ink on the Mont Blanc ink but it is a very dark ink it looks almost black in real life okay I, I wouldn't want to move around too much to avoid making some kind of stupid accident but while this one is drying let me bring the road here and I will make I have my Victorinox knife a big one and I will make where is the the eyedropper, the pipette, it's here, and I'll do it the my traditional way. So 
one, two, three drops. These go inside the water and then I'll pick up the knife and do it this way. And I like this way because you can see much more shading and you are able to see how these may behave with a much wetter uh, pen. And I think I will try to take... It's not a good idea to do this with it wet. But I forgot to put some paper beneath to avoid it to make the next sheets of paper wet. Sorry. <laughs> this is a very badly planned video. So this is that ink. Then I will make the comparison between swatches. I know this is the most spectacular way of making a swatch. I know. Okay, let me cap this one. And let's go for the last ink of this video. Just to see. So we are doing this together and we are discovering the best way of making this. So now this, it is the Robert Oster Crocodile Green. I need to be careful because this is a very uh, high uh, bottle. Trying, I have to try not to, to tip it over. And so let's start with one of these. Let's open this. And pick the paintbrush, take out a little bit of ink and now let's... Okay, this is much more on the green side of color. Okay, let's put the paintbrush there. Now with the deep pen let's write the name of the ink. So this is Sorry, this is Robert Oster. I'll need a little bit more of ink. Crocodile Green. And let's put this pen also in water to clean it now over the paper towel and let's bring the rhodia dot pad and let's do it here the same thing that we did before so let's pick up the pipette this is kind of a very underplanned video. Sorry about that. So we'll take a little bit of ink, just enough for three drops of ink. Put this inside the water and I will immediately cap this because I don't really want to have a stupid accident. And now let's bring up the knife and do it like this and yes this is a very different kind of ink with a very different shading okay now let's clean this let's put these away again and now the next step is to bring another little small piece of paper towel Oops, wrong place. And let's try to clean the laminative area. I'm not sure if I'm on screen. Okay, and just a little bit there. 
maybe there are people that are more perfect than I that don't have these little bits of ink right out, but I can clearly see this one is much better than the, my first try with the... I did that with the pipette with a, with, a, with a drop of ink and ink went all over the place and this one is much much cleaner. So let me take this Pelican Edelstein rose quartz away and get the other here. Not sure if they are dry enough. I don't think so, but I think we all can make already a little comparison and that's it. So let's see. First, we have the Montblanc Racing Green on Rhodia paper. And then we have the Racing Green here on this paper. And you can see I don't have really a lot of color variation because the amount of ink is not as big. And so we just have the uh, we just have the darker side of the ink. But th for me, this is, sorry about the, this, or this focusing problem. I don't know what's happening. Um, for me, this is really how this ink performs on paper because I usually use fine nibs and that's what I get. I usually don't get a lot of shading out of my inks when I do this kind of thing. For the Colorverse Taepyeong Song Dae, we have this is not completely dry. By the way, you can see there is some not see-through but really soaking, and on this there isn't. But this is a normal paper. This is cardboard, and you can see that it goes also for kind of a mid-tone darker than the lighter one, but uh, lighter than the darkest place. So I think this shows more kind of a median, uh, an average value of the, the shading that is possible. And I think this, is, this may be quite correct of the real color that will be on paper with the way that I write. I still like to make these kind of swatches because this will be helpful for those of you that use very wide nibs and very wet pens to have line uh, to have uh, shading. I don't really rely that much on that. So for me it's not something important. Uh, but I like to do it because it's a way it's a different way to show the, the the inks. And then we have here this one. It's not very very clean but the Robert Oster Crocodile Green again it goes for the for the middle tones, not for the darkest places and not for the lightest places. But it may be because of the cardboard or it can be because of the amount of ink. Here there is much more ink, even if the area is, is bigger. But what we have also is that uh, there we are working with a, a paintbrush. And with a paintbrush we are having a... Um, a much uh, uniform coverage of the of the swatch, and I guess if we did it instead with instead of with a, a paintbrush, if we did it with um, a Q-tip, it would even be more uh, flat. And I don't really like to use Q-tips for for this kind of swatches. So I think this will be um, let me put it here. This is not very inexpensive. I think it's about six euros. I would need to check it better but I can put some links below so you can see. Um, they are not the cheapest stuff but they are cardboard uh, 200 grams per square meter. There are 50 cards and I think it's 6 euros. So they are not inexpensive, but I think they are nice and I think this is the way that I will go for my muddy green collection of inks. 
for myself, but also for myself and for channel purposes, I guess I will still be making these kind of swatches because I think they are useful in a different way. So for me, this is what I really need for you to show all the me all an ink can do. I think these are better. So it depends on what you want. You, I don't know how to really store these properly. These are much easier and nicer to, to organize, I would say. And the shape is just beautiful. So I hope this video was useful in some way. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you'll come back for more videos like this. So see you next time. Bye.